Hello, how are you? This is Rachel from Sweet Bee Paper Co. I kind of wanted to do a little video to show you what I like to send to my pen pals. And I just finished the video showing how to make these cute little pen pal pocket folders. I will link that down below and up in the card. They're super simple. And I will link a playlist of some ideas for some things that you can make for your pen pals to send along. So make sure you check those out. And let me show you what I like to send. And this isn't obviously all inclusive. This is what I'm sending in this little folder. So this is about four inches by five and a half inches wide. I don't have this tie on <laughs> very well right now. So that kind of gives you an idea of what size everything is. So if I make something a little bit bigger, sometimes I'll include bigger papers then or won't fold things up to fit in here. So let me show you what all I would include. But the first thing is I always like to include something that I have made. So if I don't include like or make like this little pocket folder thing, I will try to send something that I have made. So maybe the, like a tag like this. I've made this in a past video too. These are really easy to make, uh, but I just always like to include something I make because I think that, you know, you are sending mail back and forth. You have a relationship with your pen pal. And I think it's always a nice thing to do for them to show that you care to, to send something along that you have made or put together like a bookmark or something like that. Or even if you bake the envelope that you put um, some little goodies in, that would be really cool too. So this folder has three different pockets in here, which is absolutely perfect for tucking in all of the goodies that you want to send. And I also want to say too, <laughs> is that when you are pen paling as well, it's not always about the goodies you know what i mean like it's more about developing that relationship with your pen pal so i don't send a lot of things to my pen pals one of my pen pals that i have we have a you know we agreed to send a couple things but it's mostly about sending a letter and that pen pal I've become very close to because it's more about the letter. You know what I mean? So anyway, okay, so let's get started now that I've kind of gone on and on. So in this little pocket thing, um, this first pocket is going to be the letter. So sometimes I will write on, this is kind of printer weight paper. I haven't written her letter yet. Um, printer weight paper, something a little bit lighter. And the reason for that is because it's going to be folded up. So I don't want, so if I use scrapbook paper to write on the back of, which I've done before, but I've trimmed it down to kind of fit into the envelope. So I'm not folding it some more because I want to be able to include other things too and to keep it relatively flat. The next thing I wanted to talk about, because we've talked about something that I've made and then I kind of showed you that this is where I would put the letter in here. So the next kind of category are papers. So I have all of these tucked into the back and I do have some smaller pieces of paper in this other envelope, but I try to keep all of the small things kind of cornered together. So in this pile, I would consider like my paper pile. So I put in a note card that I um, sprayed with coffee and I have a little short video about how to make these. It's really easy. Just putting coffee in a spray bottle. So, and also I like to include a mixture of vintage and new items. And this also depends on what your pen pal likes. Once you get to know them, you kind of know, well, do, when they junk journal, do they like to just use vintage items or do they like to use a mix of light items? Do they like eclectic or um, vintage modern or 
whatever they may like, then you kind of know what to send them. This pen pal that I'm sending this to, I think kind of likes a mixture of everything like me. <laughs> so, so I include just all kinds of different things to send to her. So I've got this, I've got some pages from a vintage German hymn book to send that are like stained at the bottom. These are so pretty. I've got some of the strawberry post-its I put in here on one of the papers. These are so, so cute. I've just included three papers, totally different styles of papers too. I took my scrapbook paper one day, pulled out a bunch of pieces and cut them all down to four by six. So I have a giant stack of papers to choose from to send my pen pals. So I just kind of picked some out of there. So I've got those and the post-its. And then I've got some memo pad paper. I've got this one with these cute little bears on it. And this, this one with these cheetahs. I love this paper so much. Make sure if you check out or stop at your TJ Maxx, make sure you check out their stationary stuff because I found some really cool memo pads at TJ Maxx. And I love checking there to send some cute papers to a pen pal. So in this, I've had to kind of fold down some of the papers to get them to fit into this little pocket. And whenever, too, I have something like this, I kind of like seeing the paper stick out of them. I think they look really cool. Something else I like to send a pen pal is a little, I'll do a little tag. I'll put a piece of tape on the tag and then I'll put my washi samples on top of that. That way it, it doesn't pull up that paper and they can still use that sample. I don't know how many samples I've gotten from friends that... I can't use the last part of it because it rips up the paper. So I always put tape on a little tag. And since I have this kind of sticking in a pocket, I wanted to make sure it's not missed. So I put a little bit of seam binding on, the, on it too. And then once she uses that tag, she could also reuse it for washi to send to a friend as well because I've got that tape on there. So the next kind of category of items are the smaller items. And sometimes I'll even put the washi tape in with the smaller items. So let me show you what's in here. So I, like I said, I'm sending some vintage, um, I believe these are Scrabble tiles that I did her name in a small glassine bag, some journaling stickers and some flower stickers. Cause I believe she, um, I don't know if she started a junk journal, but she is journaling more now. I think this is like a, just a washi sticker, another washi sticker, a little postcard, some labels, a tag. And then these are the strips <laughs> that I cut off those other papers. I'm going to include those too. So sometimes like this may sound weird, but like whatever I have after a project, if I have cut off pieces or even like this from the bottom of that book, I will maybe include those as well. If I think that they like, if there's someone who likes to collage, I will put smaller pieces of um, book pages or things like that in there. It just kind of depends on what your pen pal likes to use. And I, th I think she will like the um, Scrabble tiles with her name. So those are some of the smaller items that I like to send. You could send post-it notes, charms. If you've got like flat charms, you could send whatever is kind of flat, you could stick in there. And I like you putting all of these small items into another envelope to keep them all together. So you could use like, like these are pre-bought. You could make your own, you could make your own coin envelope. You could use a little bag to put all of those little goodies in. Whatever will work for you. And then a couple other things that you could send, which I've sent before, are local um, travel brochures. So I've sent, I think I've sent that pen pal too. 
a brochure for where we like to go hiking that kind of shows it was a thick one too i had a map on it and showed all the things you, you could do in the park and stuff and that's really fun to include to send to a pen pal because you may talk about these things we went for a hike there it was amazing i saw this i saw that we got to do this and then to include that with it as well so they get more of a visual for it is a really neat idea so i picked up a couple brochures when we went to this little um, nature center so this will this shows all of the hiking trails that are there so if i were to include this i would say we went to the nature center here we parked kind of over here and then we took the red trail actually i think we took the orange trail we did a connector to i believe the blue trail and kind of came back through there so that would be kind of fun to show exactly where you were going. I've gotten, I picked up this archeology span club when I thought looks really cool. I didn't know if we were gonna maybe check it out. And there's an astronomy club that goes to a park that's near us that um, I don't believe you have to have a telescope. Anyone can go and kind of hang out with them. So I thought those were really cool and a neat thing to include and some things you like to send your pen pal i also send recipes to pen pals i love getting recipes from them too it's always fun to make things that you know they may like to include on a for a family dinner or whatever you could also include some ribbon some yarn little pieces of your projects that you've done so i have these these cutouts from a project that I did that I could stick in there. Little pieces of paper. Sometimes when I have these little pieces of paper left over from a project, I'll stamp on them. So I have something for a next project, if it's big enough. Pieces of tissue paper too. Love tissue paper for collages. And like these little tickets, I made these in a video too. Um, these would be fun to make. I used some scrap paper from a cutout for these. Super simple, super fun. But those are just some ideas for you to um, include for your pen pal. What do you like to send your pen pals? Let me know in the comments below. We can get some more ideas if people are looking for them. So make sure you check out the comments. But I hope you enjoyed this little video and i will keep an eye on those comments too for me for more ideas um <laughs> but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like the video leave me a comment let me know what you like to send subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye you stole my heart what is it that you do Call